Hey, welcome back to Lifestyle 101. It's your boy Paco Rocks, Lifestyle Enthusiast. Bringing you what's hot, what's not, the movers and the shakers and the money makers in these ATL streets. Today, I got my boy Derek Ford back with me again. What's going on, nigga? Good to be here. Thank you, sir. If you remember, we did a great art, uh, interview with him a couple weeks ago about Powerful Men in Style, the fashion group. But today, we're doing something a slight little different. Um, Mr. Ford's been doing a lot of reviews, and I've been checking your, your reviews out pretty strong, brother. Pretty strong. Appreciate it. And appreciate he's here it. with us. He's about to give us his top five hottest fragrances, daytime fragrances, 2017. You guys are not going to want to miss this because you're going to want to see what's popping. Give us a second. We'll be right back. Get back, get to be back on the blue couch, man. It's a pleasure to have you as usual, man. I, I, like I said, I've been checking out your reviews, man. Uh -huh. You're killing the game, man. You, 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 you're doing reviews on everything. Appreciate it. And right now, today, you, you, you came to bless us with your top five. And I know you had to pinpoint this down. I know it's yeah. hard, yeah. But your top five fragrances, daytime fragrances, uh -huh. 2017. Especially for some of that's right, guys. It's your boy, Mr. Ford. Hey, look, I've got my top five daytime summer fragrances. For 2017, I've smelt and stuck my nose up every bottle at Neiman Marcus, Macy's, uh, and, and, and any mall, uh, fragrance place at Lenox Mall. Um, so what I did was I put together my top five daytime fragrances for summer 2017 so you don't have to go around and shopping for it. So let's get started. Coming in at number five, we have Nautica. Voyage, that's right, Nautica Voyage. It's sort of like a mixture of like green apple and leaves, mm. right? It's perfect for the daytime. Uh, I let my friend rock this the other day, and he said it smelled like something he would wear to the beach. Um, a lot of things people look for when they look at cologne is they look at two things, longevity, how long does the fragrance last, and projection. So longevity on this one is good. You're probably gonna get anywhere between six to 10 hours. It's very good, very good. And the projection is very strong on this one. Again, it's sort of a green apple fragrance. Works very well if you're going somewhere like to the gym, to the beach, or you're going maybe shopping in the morning and you wanna just smell great. Again, that's not a cup voyage. You can get this, really man? at like Ross for like $20 or TJ Maxx. It's a great, great buy for a great price. Coming in at number five, Nautica Voyage. Woo! <laughs> Coming in at number four, this is my personal uh, fragrance, uh, what we call a signature scent uh, for spring, but I also decided I wanna pull it a little over into summer. So for my number pick, pick number four, for my top five daytime summer fragrances for 2017, I'm pulling out the very famous Terry Mugler Cologne. That's the name of it, it's called Cologne. Man, this one right here is, it's a, it's a citrus floral. Yeah. Check that out. That's a citrus floral. It's soapy, green. A lot of people say it smells like Irish Spring. Ooh, um, nice. Actually, Terry Mugler uh, went to a hotel and uh, he had got some of the soap and he said it smelled so good, he wanted to put it in a bottle. So, Thierry Mugler Cologne, I'm telling you, I wore this the other very, day. Very clean. Very clean, I wore this the other day. I was riding the train and some lady uh, walked up to me and she said, what are you wearing? I said, Thierry Mugler Cologne. Uh, you can get this like for anywhere between like 40 or $60 at Macy's. Longevity on this one, uh, probably between four to six hours and the projection is definitely strong on this one. Again, coming in at number four for Mr. Ford's top five daytime summer 2017 fragrances. <sighs> Thierry Mugler, Cologne. Mm. Coming in at number three, ladies and gentlemen, Versace. Versace on the floor. Do I sound like Bruno Mars a little bit? A little bit, a little bit. Yeah, I, yeah, I, so. I appreciate that. Guys, coming in at number three, Versace Man. That's right. I smelled this fragrance. Uh, you know Papi Chulo, yeah. right? Uh, I was at Opium a couple weeks ago, and Papi Chulo was rocking this. And I said, brother, what scent are you wearing? He said, Versace Man. So I went out the next day, and I bought it. It's an oriental fragrance. Check that out. Mm. Notes are Neroli, yes. Bergamot, uh -huh. and Angelica. 
Longevity on this one is about four to six hours, so you know it's working well. Projection is strong, so this is perfect for the daytime. You can also flip this at nighttime. I think the ladies like this one. Coming in at number two, guys, was last year's number one uh, fragrance. It was Jean Gautelier Lamal Popeye. This year, they didn't change the formula. They kept it the same and called it Superman. That's right, this is a killer right here. If you're a fan of uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier, then you know this fragrance is hot. Check that out. Mm. That's Neroli Mint. Ooh. Neroli yes. Mint and all yes. the hides, man. This, yes. is, this, is, this is the hottest that one is. going Love right it. now. This is a club banger, and you can bang this on the beach. Unfortunately, downside is, it only lasts for about two to three hours, so you definitely have to carry an atomizer around with you to keep it going. Projection isn't as strong as I'd like it to be, but it's still a great scent, and it's the hottest thing going for summer 2017. That's number two, Jean-Paul Lamal Gallier. Love it, I'm loving it. Man, here it is, Paco. Drum roll. Coming in at number one for Mr. Ford's top five daytime summer fragrances, none other than Tom Ford Mandarino Aqua. Oh my God. Gents, when you smell this, this smells like you're standing on the side of a sea cliff and the wind is just blowing in your face. Smell that. Oh my God. Look at the presentation it's, it's, on that bottle. You, you make it sound like a it's, romantic it's, novel, it's dude. Number one, it's number one. It's got oh, citrus, God. it's got mint, yes. and it's got zesty wildflowers buried deep inside oh, of it, man. Yes, that's very nice. It's very, very beautiful. Nice. Look at that presentation on oh, the, the bottom. I'll give me the see. damn thing. Okay. <laughs> it smells great. I want to stick this up my nose and keep it up there forever. Unfortunately, it only lasts between two to three hours. Projection isn't that strong. So again, you're going to have to carry an atomizer with you. God, this stuff smells great. Quick, um, quick question. Yeah, not, yeah, yeah. Not, not to cut you off. And a lot of people I know, what is an atomizer? An it's atomizer right. is when you know you go into the stores and they give you those little samples, mm -hmm. but it has the pump on it. Uh, those are atomizers. So what I do is um, when I purchase a cologne, I'll ask to get a sample of it, and it comes in those little bottles that they squirt. Uh, so when it runs out, you can dump it out and take your cologne and put it inside there and carry it with you. It's usually used for fragrances like the last two that don't last that long. That way you've got it on you all day long and you can just refresh, right? So that's what an atomizer is. Again, when you go to the store and you purchase a cologne and they give you samples, the ones with the little pump, those are atomizers. They're a great way to refill the fragrances and keep yourself smelling just like that fragrance all day long. Real quick, Derek, man, kind of give us a breakdown of cost-wise of these fabulous fragrances. That sure, sure, sure. Today. No doubt. All right. Nautica Voyage, you can get that pretty much at like Ross or TJ Maxx for $20. It's a bargain buy, right? If you see it anywhere over $20, you're buying, you're spending way too much. Definitely get this at TJ Maxx or Ross. It's always in stock, okay? okay. Thierry Mugler Cologne. You can get this at Macy's, anywhere between like $60 or $70. This is an older fragrance. As a matter of fact, a lot of people compare it to uh, Creed Vetiver, but this came out before. So uh, if you want to smell a bit like Creed, you definitely want to get this. This is around $40 to $60 at Macy's. It comes by itself uh, in 100 milliliters, even bigger, and even in a nice gift box uh, with some nice soap. And I've got that one at home. The Versace Man, um, that comes anywhere between about $60. I believe this is the 50 milliliter and the 100 milliliter is probably going to cost around $70, $70. But I saw this the other day at Target, uh, the 50 milliliter for about $50. Mm -hmm. So you definitely want to check that out. Target and TJ Maxx or Ross is a great, great way to get these. Um, the Gottlieb, uh Superman. That's going to cost you around $70. Uh, you can get that at Macy's. Here in Atlanta, it just landed. Remember, last year it was called Popeye, right? So if you can't find the Superman, you can try to go online and find the Popeye. But it's around $70. And the Tom Ford is going to cost you 
anywhere around $160 or higher. You can get this at Neiman Marcus or Saks Fifth Avenue. So again, the Nautica is going to cost you around $20 at TJ Maxx or Ross. Tierra Mugler Cologne is going to cost you around $40 to $60. Versace is going to cost you around $60. The Superman is going to cost you around $70. And my man Tom Ford is going to cost you at least $165. Great, great. Hey, Derek, man, I appreciate you coming out, man, giving us your top five fragrances for the summer 2017. A couple questions, man. Mm -hmm. Tell us, what is longevity and what is projection when it comes to fragrances? Sure. So longevity is how long the fragrance lasts once you apply it to your skin. Uh, and projection is about the, uh, the length of how, f how far it projects out once you put it on, right? So something like the Nautica Voyage has both uh, strong uh, longevity, meaning once you put it on your skin, uh, it lasts anywhere between like six hours, six to ten, or even longer. Uh, whereas Tom Ford and the more expensive seem to somehow not last as long, so their longevity might between, be between two to three hours. Projection again is how far it projects out. So again, Nautica Voyage seems to project very well. Uh, some people measure it in feet. Um, some just people, some people just say how long it is. Probably about with Nautica, probably like you know three or four feet. Where with the Tom Ford, uh, it does project probably between about two to three feet, but it turns into a skin scent very fast. And what I mean by skin scent is that um, it comes closer to your skin rather than projecting out more very quickly. So. You, um, that's why I suggested you carry an atomizer around with you to refuel and reapply it. Where with something like Nautica Voyage, uh, you won't have to. You can spray it and it'll last all day long. Another tip I want to give to people, uh, and sometimes it's controversial, is if you want to make a fragrance last is to spray it on your clothes. Now, some people uh, don't like the idea of that. They feel that it'll uh, damage their clothes or even change the colors. But my theory is why would you put something that would change the color of your shirt on your skin? I think that's false, it's not real at all. Uh, if you want your fragrances to last longer, then you're gonna wanna put it on your clothes. Uh, Tom Ford smells very nice on your shirt. You just have to spray a little more than what you would normally spray. Uh, some people like to do two to three sprays. Other people do three to six. Some people even do eight, right? For the weaker fragrances, you wanna use a lot more. And then for the uh, stronger fragrances, not as much. Cool, cool. And I'm glad you you, you, you touched on that because I was going to speak on that as well. Mm -hmm. um, far as people using fragrances, usually putting on their 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 for their forearms mm -hmm. or their neck, right, right, and not really spraying on the clothes. And right. it has been like a taboo uh, of people saying you do not spray cologne, but you say it is okay. It's okay, to, yes, to spray fragrances. Yes, 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 yes. You can spray any of these. On your clothes and, and they'll last much longer uh, on your clothes than they will on your skin uh, especially in my experience other people will argue with you and say that it's not true but it definitely does for me cool 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 Derek man I just, I just want to appreciate you coming out man giving us this this these tips and these new fragrances man we're about to do something a little different man, and you're gonna be involved we're gonna do yeah. we're gonna do a test a test panel mm -hmm. with a couple of ladies. I'm gonna bring a couple of women up, and I okay. want you to kind of let them smell each of them, and kind of let's get the ladies' responses. Responses, to what, what okay. you have to offer? How okay, about that? let's do it. Let's do it. You know I love ladies. Yes, I know you do. Hey, we'll be right back with you, man. Lifestyle 101, your boy Paco rocks with Mr. Ford. Lifestyle 101, baby. Yes, sir. Hey, welcome back to Lifestyle 101. It's your boy Papa Rocks, Lifestyle Enthusiast. Back with my man, Mr. Ford, capping off the 2017 Top 5 Fragrances, Daytime Fragrances of the Year. Hey, today we got a little something special. We have a panel, so we got to do a little, play a little game. Okay, we have fun today. We got a panel. Introduce yourselves. Hi, everybody. I'm Evie. I'm Shamika. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to let Mr. Ford let you smell each fragrance, and I want you guys to tell me, one, the first thing that comes to your mind about that fragrance, and two, if your man was wearing that fragrance, would it turn you on or turn you off? Mm. Okay, okay, so the rules again are, one, one, 
The first thing, the first thing that comes to your mind about that fragrance. Two, if your man wore it, would it turn you on or turn you off? All right, okay. first we're going to start off with Nautica Voyage. All right, ladies. Remember, what's the rules, Paco? What's the first thing that comes to your mind about the fragrance? And if your man wore it, would it turn you on or turn you off? Let's find out. Mm. Okay, it's, that's you. Beach. Mm. Beach and, um, yeah, like summer. Beach and summer. Okay. I guess I'm a fruity. You get fruit? Clean. Okay. You hear that? Clean. Like you took a shower or something like that? Yeah. Okay. So okay. it's good to smell like you okay. just stepped out of the shower. Okay. okay. And would you like your man to wear that? Yes. Definitely? Uh, yes. Thumbs up? Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. All right. All right. Ah! All right. All right. All right. Next is Tier, Terry Muller Cologne. All right. This is my signature scent. fresh about it but it's not it wouldn't be my first pick or pick at all um yeah. it's more like a it smells like a department store like you know once everything mixes all together mm -hmm. and when uh -huh. you first walk in macy's that scent you smell that's mm -hmm. that's the feeling that i get from that it's okay. just too okay. it's too busy too busy too busy, too busy. Yeah. okay i'll take that a little citrusy citrusy mm -hmm. i don't think i want him to wear this you don't want to wear it okay no, no, I don't want him to wear it. Can I smell it? I don't know. Why? It's like, to, to me, it's not strong enough. It's not mm. manly enough. Not ma yeah. I, I, it's it, not masculine. And, and you know what? And I was just about to say that with yeah. me smelling it right now, mm -hmm. I, I, I get what you're saying. Yeah. I get what you're saying. It's like, it, it, it's kind of just there. He had to borrow my cologne, you know, mine. Okay, okay, yeah. and I respect that. I, and, I, gotta, I gotta respect it. It's still yeah. my signature. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I love it. I love I, it. It smells. So it, it, fresh, it is clean, it's, it's very it's fresh, it's but, very but, 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 but we're running sure. for you It does smell, smell sure. soapy, but it kind of smells like Irish, like, yeah, yeah. like a, yeah, like a cheap dry soap. Okay, okay. all right, okay, I'll take okay. that. Next up is Versace, a you fresh man, all right, let's check this out. Now, I'm, I'm digging this right here. Yeah, yeah, this is a good one. I'm this digging this. this one. I've always been a Versace fan. Let's see if it can you smell it. Shower. Ooh. That's the first thing that came to mind. Okay, okay. Shower. shower what, what, what more? Shower. Like, it smells like a fresh shower. Like, you just got out of the shower. Just shower, fresh, it's, it's masculine, but it's not, like, overpowered. Oh, okay, okay. It's just, it's just, like, right in the middle. Okay. Mm. It has, like, woody, like a woody, spice, mm. old spice smell. Mm. But, yeah. Sure. That's definitely for the older men. I would expect the older man. Oh, 45 or 40 and mm. older. Yeah. Mm. Or like late right. 30s, really. Yeah. Yeah. Late 30s. Okay. So this is the grown and sexy one. Okay. That's okay. What so, okay. So would you like your man to wear that? I would. If we, that's like if we were going on a nice date or okay. going somewhere mm. where you had to dress up mm. nice, okay. that would be the go to. Okay. Okay. What about you, Evie? I would. Like Same black thing? guy thing? Okay. I would. I'm like, I'm, 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 I'm I feeling, know I'm Poppy you know, Chulo, Chulo, baby. Poppy Chulo put me on that you one. Know, you know, hey, that's that Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. What's next? What's next, Mr. Ford? All right, this is uh, Jean-Paul Galliere uh, Lamar. All right, okay. summer 2017 release. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. I said, we're talking about some of his other other things, like um, um, 
some of the other fragrances. Uh, you have uh, the, the original one. You have Ultra Male, which is a new one. Exactly, exactly, yeah. exactly. So they like yeah, that one. I like that one. Oh, so this is a yes for your man? Yes. Right. Yeah. I actually I'm probably sure. should borrow it. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. Okay, okay. Tell me, tell me more. Why? Let's, let's just... To what me, about? it's just more... It's, it, it's a, like... Manly? Okay. Yeah, it's a vibe setter. It, it, come, a, it says that you came to with your A game. Mm. You came to conquer. That's what Yeah, you it's came a, it, to it, 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 yeah, So would you say it was a little, a little aggressive, more alpha male? It's a good aggressive, though. A good, a good aggressive. aggressive. Okay, I like that. Okay, yeah, okay. Like that. All right, ladies. You hear this? You hear this? You hear this, gentlemen? Take notes. Take notes. I mean, personally, that will good. make me double back. Like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What, what you got? Like, that oh. will make me double back. Oh. <laughs> It depends. I mean, all right. <laughs> and all this right. is Tom Ford Mandarino Aqua. Tom Ford is usually good, so. Mm, this smells like really peppery to me. It smells like pepper. Like, it'll make me sneeze a lot. Okay. Um, it, no, I don't know. It's, and it's not as strong. It's not a strong scent, and mm -hmm. it doesn't. It's not. It's not manly. Yeah, it's okay. not manly. It's not okay. really mixed well. It kind of like almost smells like pepper and alcohol. Right. You still need a lot of growing up to do. It's not manly. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's, that's good, interesting. Good description. Interesting yeah, description. Good description. Yeah. You know, and, and, and what I'm getting out of this is is what I like. Mm -hmm. Might not be what the women like. Right, you right, know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. And, and, and we're buying this to smell good for the women. You know, right, and, right. And I need to rethink my. Purchases, right? And right. how I buy fragrances now. Well, also really? too, also too, I think uh, for me personally, I do buy the cologne for what I like to wear on me. Mm -hmm. I like to, uh, you know, smell a certain way for myself when I sit in the office. Mm -hmm. I like the, these are type of fragrances, and they're all great picks. And when I said they make me they give me a certain mood, the Tom Ford makes me feel zesty, right? Mm -hmm. Same thing with the Atia Verdad cologne, right? The Jean Paul Gaultier definitely makes me feel sexy, you know. Uh, same thing with the Versace, and then the Nautica definitely makes me feel like a sporty, gives me a sporty type vibe. So you definitely want to uh, buy something that smells good for yourself, right. and also for the ladies right. as well. So you want to be comfortable with it. Real quick, okay. can I bring in the six man? Not the six man. I, I Not the six man. The six man. Producer, man, man. producer, producer thank you so much. And I'm bringing in now the six man. No one saw this coming. We're talking about the number one selling cologne of all time, Creed Aventus. Yes. Drum roll. Da -da -da -da. Yes. Let's see what the all ladies right. have to say about Creed. Let's see if this can hold up to his name. Let's see. Let's see what the ladies think about it. Mm. Look, Amy, you want to pass the paper? I know. It's so. This one, this says grown man all day, every day. Ooh. When you put on your business suit and yes. your tie, that's the go-to. Mm -hmm. okay. This, Yeah, that's the go-to for grown man. Okay. You set a high expectation wearing that. Actually. Okay, okay, okay. Let me see, can I? Can I? Can I? It's, it's, yeah, it's manly. So it's, it's, so, manly. so it's manly, sexy, yeah. business, but still. It's everything. Still, it's, everything. it's everything. It's everything. It's everything. It's everything. It's everything. Give, me, give, me, give me, give me, give me, give me the price point on that. On this? On that. On that one? On that. The price on this one? This one. On that one? This one right that here. That one right there? That one. That's a $385 bottle. Ew. Oh, yeah. That's uh, <laughs> That came off the Neiman Marcus credit card uh, that I will have to start paying back tomorrow. Oh. Uh, but yes, Creed is a very expensive Ooh. house of cologne, and Aventus is their number one top selling uh, uh, cologne at, at this time. Again, how much? That's this one. This one. That one. That one. The one right here. This one right That's here. That's a $385 bottle uh, of cologne. Uh, why it's a yeah. Yeah. yeah, you gotta step gotta step your game up. Alright, ladies, after smelling everything, and, and we're gonna leave this to the by side. itself, right? Okay. That's you know. Out of the five, what's your what's your go to? Your your, your number one go to. We're gonna start with you, Shamika. This one. Okay. This one, um, this will be my first pick. Um, it's more grown up. Um uh, this one you can almost wear anywhere. You can wear it to work on a date. 
you know, to the beach. You can almost wear it anywhere. Versus this one, um, this is, will be my second favorite. Okay. It does smell nice and it is fresh, mm -hmm. but it's not as bold. Like if you want to make a statement okay. wherever you go, um, I would definitely go for this one over that one. Okay. But this one is more, um, you know, it's more calm, but it still says grown man. Okay. But you said John pa John Pati Gautier would be your, correct. Your, your, that would be person. my first pick. Okay. 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 All right. Evie? This will be my first pick because it says Superman, like he's the man. Okay. He got his A game on. Okay. But this will be my second pick. Okay. The Tom Ford. The Tom Ford. Okay. Yeah. I just feel like it has a the afternoon is far much better than this one. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just feel like uh, this it's a little fresh for this one, but I feel like this one like brings it out like okay, I'm not in the boardroom, but I'm at home. Maybe you know. I'm on a date with my girlfriend, wife, so okay. I'll go with this one. Alright, cool. Okay. And if had me put this one in the game, where would this one have fallen? Ooh. Oh, see this one right here, that one is going to put you in the game. That oh, says, okay, okay. I came to conquer, oh. to overcome, oh, wow. you trying to spend the night, that's what oh. that one says. <laughs> so that's dropping panties. That's dropping panties. That's dropping panties. Right there. Oh, yeah. um, okay. This one? Yes. yes. This one? That one? This one? That one, that's $385 yeah. a bottle. That's, but again, yeah. the price point says that that's really grown man. That's At really that point, you care about how you smell mm -hmm. and the look. Yeah, at that point, that lets yeah. that will let a female know that you put a lot of effort into not, the way you smell yeah. and the way you yeah. present yourself. You're not playing a game. Yeah. And, if you're, if, and if you're willing to spend, you know, almost 400 bucks on that, that says enough in itself. It, it does. I'm, it gonna gonna get, I'm gonna get another bottle tomorrow. But it's well worth it. Can you put one yeah, on the credit card for me? I, I don't think it'll be like that. Man. We can pay it off I mean, this eventually. Is, this is my second show with you. I don't really. No. <laughs> but it's kinda, I think it's technically this is gonna last longer, like mm -hmm. throughout the day, but since exactly. this is wait like two hours. Mm -hmm. Three hours. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. What's what's the projection on this? That one's a very strong projection. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's also longevity is very long as, as well. Okay. Uh, Creed makes uh, different batches of cologne. So uh, the older the batch, the longer the longevity and the stronger the projection. But either way, it's, it's, it's easily uh, 8 to 12. Okay. That's how long. And then wow. before spraying it on your clothes, even, even longer. Wow, wow. Ladies, I do appreciate you guys for giving us your input on, on, on a women's per 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 perspective. Of what you guys are looking for in a fragrance? Of my top five 2000 summer, summer, 2017 summer daytime fragrances. Hey Derek, man, yeah. you've been man, you've been wonderful, man. A wealth of knowledge, man. Thanks. Tell my people, man, how can we find you, man? Find your reviews, mm -hmm. see what you're doing out here. Cause I know you're gonna be co-hosting co a lot of stuff with me soon. Sure, so. sure. Sure. Give, them, give them your social medias and uh, how we can find you. You can check me out on Facebook at Derek Ford, D-E-R-E-K-F-O-R-D. -E -E and you can always check me out at Powerful Men in Style. That's the Facebook group, Powerful Men in Style. We have almost 10,000 members. And if you want to email me, it's Derek, D-E-R-E-K, V as in Victor, Ford, like the truck, Derek V Ford at gmail.com. I'm writing reviews for a nice price. We'll get your stuff posted on the group and on our Instagram and our other media outlets for powerful men in style. Yes, man. You heard it first, man. You heard it first. Hey, it's your boy Paco Rocks, lifestyle enthusiast, man. Welcome. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs>